the writing process, make publishing come to life using Story Jumper. Do your students dread writing? Do your students dread the writing process? Do your students need help with the writing process? Do your students have trouble with engagement or developing ideas with relevant details? If you've answered yes to any of these questions, then let me show you how to utilize Story Jumper in your classroom. How Story Jumper enhances or supplements the objective. It helps with the writing process, sentence fluency, punctuation, vocabulary words, sight words, it increases quality of writing, and helps students learn to think critically. This is Story Jumper. It is an easy to use website that is designed to create and publish books. It is a teacher friendly site and it is free to use with the exception of wanting to purchase copies of the books that have been created by the students. Once an account is created, this is what Story Jumper would look like. Teachers can then create a class or classes if they have more than one. Teachers, if they would like to, can connect Story Jumper with Google Classroom. Once you have selected a class, teachers can also discover fun writing projects based on both grade level and subject. Custom handouts are also available to help students properly log in with the class name and password. Story Jumper also provides a teacher review guide that is designed to help and remind teachers of what can be done using Story Jumper. Story Jumper can help make lesson planning a little bit easier by providing some detailed ideas. Students can also add their voice, background music, and even sound effects into their books. Step two goes into detail on how to create a class, add students to the classes through Story Jumper. Teachers can also collaborate with one another. Story Jumper can be used at home or in the classroom. Currently, Story Jumper does not work using iPads, tablets, or phones, but it has been said that the use of these devices is coming soon. Users can, of course, create books but students can also create group books using Story Jumper. Story Jumper also gives students the ability to chat while outside of school. While working on their books, the teacher has the ability to manage the student's progress, edit, and make comments about the books before they are finished. These finished books can be shared with parents. There is also an option to purchase hardback copies, paper copies, ebooks, and audiobooks. And that includes the use of QR codes so that all audio can be heard in all forms of the book. All right, so now we're going to create a book together. There are options to create new books using pre-made templates or create one using the blank one, or simply edit and continue working on a previous book that has been started. Together, I will show you how easily it is to create a book using Story Jumper. For this video, we are going to start with the pre made template called The Monster. Did I mention that teachers can also create pre made templates for their students to use? If anyone is still confused, there are additional videos on YouTube, but you won't need those because we are going to show you right here. So let's start with the front cover. The pictures can't be changed. So the backgrounds can be changed right here. You can use different colors for the title or the authors, and you can add your name as the author if you wanted to. So right here, you can change the cover or spine color. You can change the cover or spine pattern, and you can also Drop down and use different props, scenes, or photos like I was talking about to change the background of the book. Now onto the dedication page. If you wanted a dedication page, you can definitely add it. So for instance, we added one and we dedicated the book to Dr. Putman. Now to create the story. 
Since this template was pre-made, we can leave the picture and simply add some text. We can even change the text boxes if we want to. Users can also add their voices to the story right here. I am going to type a little bit of the story so you can see what I mean. So let's say that this scene right here does not go with our story, or we didn't really like it. If we click on scenes, there's different pictures that we can put instead on the page, or we could even click more scenes if we wanted to. And then if we didn't want those scenes, we could even add photos of our own. And that could consist of actual pictures or illustrations that your students have drawn. And here I'm going to create the next part of our story. Now that page is finished, so let's go on to the next one. All right, so right here it is asking for a prop. So what we can do is click on props and then we can add any of these props that we want to on the page. So I want a monster. Let's put him over here. We can make him big, super small, like he's spying on the king. If we wanted to search for a prop, you could absolutely do that. So let's say that we just finished the book, even though we really didn't. There's a button at the top right, and it says collaborate. And then there is another button that says share, and there's more information on how to use Story Jumper right here. There's also buttons over here on the bottom right that says undo. If I didn't want to keep the prop that I just put up there, I can delete a page, add a page, or even copy a page if I wanted to have more than one copy again on the top left there is text boxes props scenes and photos that you can use for background or illustrations that your students have drawn for you guys 